Going down the numbers, uh, yourself and Mitch combining for 13 shots, obviously uh, Brownie helping you get the puck, and now you get a chance to get Zach back in there. How important are those guys on the wing and, and enabling you and Mitch to do what you do? Yeah, just uh, so good at uh, causing turnovers, sustaining pressure, uh, also creating space. You know, when they're uh, around the net or in the corners like they are, it really frees up a lot of the middle of the ice uh, um, and plays uh, uh, going kind of side to side in the offensive zone. So. It uh, allows me and Mitch, I think, to be able to handle the puck and find each other uh, and obviously use them. And, and knowing where they are, you always have a good sense of uh, where they're at and uh, their ability to protect the puck and, and sustain uh, his own time and puck possession is, is key. So um, great to have Zach back. Hey, John, you, um, you obviously know what Zach was like playing against him, the tenacity and everything. What, what's it like you know, having him on your wing and what did you learn about him? Yeah, it's great. Uh, you know, it's just so much trust in his game and so much predictability. Uh, you know, he's so strong in the puck. He's so good in those 50-50 battles or even those ones that he, you know, you think that he probably isn't going to come out of it. Uh, he just finds a way, puts a lot of pressure on the D uh, with his speed and his strength. So um, he's a presence around the net and really count on him defensively as well in our own zone. You know, when the pucks are on the wall uh, or we're close to getting him out, there's just, like I said, so much trust and, and predictability in his game and allows uh, myself and, and I believe Mitch as well to just kind of really read off him and, and really have a good feel uh, what's going to happen next. It's still early in the season, but any more disappointing when you lose a couple of divisional games like to Boston and Tampa, opponents you know you might see again down the road too? Yeah, I mean, they're obviously a bit important games. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of jockeying for position. Uh, obviously, uh, all the teams have uh, high expectations, so um, it's a long season, but like you said, I think uh, uh, those are games you want to win and, uh, and, and sour taste, a little frustration when you don't well, you don't get the result you want, but uh, uh, you just got to keep pushing forward knowing uh, those opportunities are going to come again and just kind of want to get back on track and uh, give ourselves the best chance once we get to the end of the season. When you look at the day after, where do you feel like the team can be most confident about the way that you performed last night in Tampa? Well, we just played with a lot of good tenacity. We were quick. Uh, I thought we were on top of them. Um, put a lot of pressure on their D. Uh, we didn't allow them to get as much, uh, I, I thought, uh, sustained pressure uh, that they're capable of, especially with the, the talent they have and the depth. So. Um, just stick with that, keep uh, making plays and getting pucks to the net, uh, uh, getting second, third opportunities, and we just got to be better than the goaltender when we get our chances. A few months into your uh, that maybe slightly new role playing net front in the power play, I mean, how, what are you finding about that role? How, do you, how, do you, how, are you, how are you adjusting to it? Well, I think it's gone pretty well so far. I think uh, it would have been nice to have a couple last night for sure, but, uh, you know, when you got the, the skill sets that we have on our power play, uh, it's a pretty, pretty good spot to be in. Uh, I mean, that's where the puck's going to end up. Uh, going at some point, and that's where the goals are scored. So I know uh, I'll be around it, and hopefully, uh, uh, like to continue putting them in when I get my chances, and uh, uh, you know, making it easy on those guys too. That uh, uh, with their skill set, if I can do my job there, it's going to uh, help everyone else out. So it's been good. I mean, like I said, when you when you're on a power play like that, it's a lot of fun to play with, that, with those with, with the skill that we have and the plays that we can make, and, uh, and obviously the results that we're trying to get. Taking, taking maybe a bit more abuse than you would as a more of a half wall guy. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think you're going to be engaged a little bit more, uh, you know, around the net and with some of the defensemen and whatnot. But, you know, that's where, like I said, where the goals are scored. I think those, that's an easy price to pay once, uh, uh, you know, you're getting those type of opportunities.